So Terrence Bud Crawford tells the public he will never call out Errol Spence to a fight again. He will never mention his name ever again, which is ironically what Errol Spence requested from Terrence Crawford post Danny Garcia fight. As far as what you see moving forward for the future, um, obviously everyone's talking about Terrence Crawford. Is that a legitimate chance of happening or do you guys feel like you're miles and miles apart? I'm not thinking about that. I'm thinking about, you know, seeing my kids tomorrow and chilling on my ranch and finally riding my horses after 10, 12 weeks and, you know, just chilling out and eating some good food. So, um, I know I know you already talked about getting back to the ranch. Very understandable. Um, but what did you think of, of Terrence showing up ringside? Do you think that helped build some buzz to, to, to make it a big fight? Uh, no. I mean, he got to live up to his words. If he... If he say he's not worried about me, then I don't know why he's doing what, what he was doing here. I probably wouldn't go to none of his fights, so I'm not worried about Terrence Crawford. Like I said, I'm going to enjoy my time with my kids and uh, chill out and just reflect on this year and a half that, you know, I came back and, um, you know, we're going to move on in the summertime and see who I fight. So uh, we'll see. I got to talk to my manager, Al Heyman, and uh, we'll go from there. Free smoke, Junior. There are no time for this. T-Bug Crawford. Yeah. Everybody know the champion is at 147 with a cage. Peace. And he's too small. He's too small. He little. He light in the air. Hey, look. He ain't light in the air. Ain't nobody say Floyd was light in the air. He's light in the air. He's not Floyd. Hey, I told you I was going to pull up on hey. the <laughs> Hey, You was really not ready. Hey, look. Hey, look. I love it. Hey, look. I love it. I told him I wasn't that word. Free smoke. I told him I wasn't that word. This ain't no Keith Thurman shit. That's what we be scared and shit. With Errol Spence, you know, you don't need that. Do you? Are, are you for real? Are you, I, I know you don't. I know, but I'm are you for real about, about just forget I'm, it now? I'm and not don't. worried about that fight. I didn't told y'all numerous of times now. I'm not even worried about the fight. Still, yeah. still down to do it, of course. Though, you never, right? you, you, you never would see me asking for that fight ever again. Mm. I still hope it happens, though. But if it happens, it happens. If it don't, I don't care. Still beat him, right? Now, Terrence Crawford made that comment for multiple reasons. One of the reasons, Terrence believes Errol Spence is not being reasonable with the money split, the 60-40 or 70-30 split. Another reason was Errol Spence comments post Danny Garcia fight, which Errol Spence stated, I will never go to a Terrence Crawford fight. Why did he come to my fight? Keep the same energy and keep my name out of your mouth. If you truly believe you don't need a fight with me. Which, in a way, Terrence Crawford want to prove a point to Errol Spence and to the public. However, I truly believe he's going about it the wrong way. See, only in the sport of boxing, where calling out someone heavy is perceived as a bad thing. Any other sport, if you the boogeyman, you the man. However, in the sport of boxing, they turn the boogeyman to the desperate man. With that being stated, both Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford made great points in the past. Errol Spence says, I'm the A-side. I should get the lion's share. On the other hand, Terrence Crawford disagrees and he says, it takes two to rumble. You need a dancing partner, which is me. So I should get a 50-50 split. Therefore, when it comes to this disagreement in particular, I do have to lean toward Errol Spence. But it's business at the end of the day or at least the night. People lie, men lie, women lie, numbers don't lie. And when they about to strike a deal, obviously they're going to pull both Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford numbers, which they will immediately come to a decision who is the A-side. This is not a matter of opinion. This is a matter of fact. So we will find out who's the A-side, which from the outside looking in is clearly Errol Spence. On the other hand, where Errol Spence seemed questionable was when he was asked about Terrence Crawford post Danny Garcia fight, in which he stated, he said he's not worried about me, what he's doing at my fight, I probably will never go to one of his fights, so keep the same energy and keep my name out of your mouth. Like I said, I'm not worried about Terrence Crawford. With that being stated, that warfare with Terrence Crawford definitely backfired on Errol Spence because when Errol Spence says he's not worried about me I'm not worried about him 
that don't add up because obviously they both need to be worried about each other. They both on the top two pound for pound. They both holding belts. They both in their primes in the same division. That's rare in the sport of boxing. So they definitely both need to be worried about each other in order to make the fight of the decade come to fruition. Furthermore, Terrence Crawford have to realize it will not serve him any good to not even entertain a 60-40 split with Errol Spence, but turn around and listen to when Errol Spence tells him, keep my name out your mouth. One thing for sure and two things for certain, Errol Spence pride himself off being the boogeyman of fearing no man. So Terrence Crawford have to capitalize on that. I recall the time when Errol Spence was told by Flores during the Danny Garcia press conference that Danny Garcia is one of the few fighters that's been calling him out for two years. Errol Spence was so quick to point out nobody, and I mean nobody, been calling him out for two years. It wasn't until last year when he became the cash cow, Danny Garcia started calling him out, which is why Errol Spence came out with the phrase tables turn. Now, there's no doubt about it. Errol Spence was definitely the boogeyman. At one point, his own mandatory didn't want to fight him. Cal Brook was even hesitating. Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia, Sean Porter, and you name it. However, one fighter that was actually willing to step into the ring with him off the jump without any hesitation was Terrence Bud Crawford. As he said before, how can you be the boogeyman when I'm chasing you? Terrence said, I'm the smoke. So, as far as I know, that statement Errol Spence made is 100% correct when it came to Danny Garcia, just not to everybody, just not to pound for pound number one Terrence Crawford. They don't call Terrence Bud for nothing. So when it comes to Terrence Crawford, all of a sudden, to listen to Errol Spence and not mention his name anymore, that's a miscalculation on his behalf because now Errol Spence will do as he pleases. One thing for sure, out of the two, Terrence Crawford is the one showing more interest to make the fight. And pressure buzz pipes. However, there will be no pressure applied if you stop mentioning Errol Spence's name. With that being stated, Errol Spence is not 100% yet based on his last performance. Nevertheless, Terrence Crawford is still tied up with his contract with Bob Arum. One thing for sure, Terrence will not get nowhere near the split he's looking for if he stays with Bob, knowing the fact that Bob Arum came out and told the public, Terrence Crawford is not marketable and he's losing money on him. With that in mind, even if Errol Spence wasn't the A-side then, right after Bob Arum made that comment about his own fighter Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence automatically became the A-side, hater or love it. You will never hear the PBC say, we losing money on Errol Spence. Instead, they actually say Errol Spence is the face of the PBC app and the face of boxing when it comes to pay-per-view and the gate. Therefore, I am optimistic about this fight happening, just not now, just not next. I see this fight taking place as soon as Terrence Crawford contract is up with Bob Arum, which is most likely in October this year. That's when we could go ahead and look forward to Errol Spence versus Terrence Crawford. For the meantime, Errol Spence most likely fight Ugas and Terrence most likely end up fighting Porter. With that being stated, I do want to mention their conversation, the back and forth conversation they had on Twitter, which started by Mitchell tweeting Bob Arum's statement. And I quote, I talked to Al Heyman. He's amenable to the fight. Spence is the obstacle. Spence throws out numbers and percentages. We believe Crawford will beat him. Unfortunately, Spence believes the same. Don't blame Heyman, blame Spence. End of the quote, which Errol Spence quickly responded by laughing emojis, lying as Bob strikes again. Then Terrence Crawford tweeted out of nowhere, I've been a champion since March 1st, 2014. Seven straight years is coming up. Three different weight classes. If I was to retire right now, the Hall of Fame will be the next accomplishment. Sorry, can't say the same for dot 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 obviously he throwing shade at Errol Spence 
Shortly after, Errol Spence responded by stating, all of those accomplishments with names people won't remember, laughing emojis. Errol Spence added, all I hear is accomplishments. I see so many greats I look up to inside of the ring who didn't take care of business outside of the ring that shut up and box. Shit been over, at least with me. Errol Spence continued by stating, everyone tells boxers, just fight. Nobody tells these guys in suits and networks who've been getting paid off boxers and fucking them over for centuries, take a loss or a break even on this one. You good money-wise, regardless, just want to see the fight. Laughing emojis. Now, that statement holds a lot of weight. Then Errol Spence turned his focus back to Crawford by stating, instead of taking Bob 200 signing bonus, went with Al, my advisor, and didn't take a signing bonus, took a stipend a month for a year to hold me afloat till I started making okay money because I knew where I could take it. Believe in you. Errol Spence added, I want to fight the best though because Lord knows I will use one of your favorite fighter as a tune-up. Laughing emojis. Then Terrence Crawford responded by stating, and I quote, one name they're going to remember is Errol Spence ducking Crawford. That's going to stay with you your whole lifetime. Laughing emojis. Peace. You still good though. End of the quote. He was responding to Errol Spence claiming that no one is going to remember Terrence's accomplishments since he fought all of these no names. That's what Errol Spence was claiming. After that, Errol Spence didn't respond. He just posted a meme that you guys see above. With that being stated, I don't think Errol Spence should have let Terrence have the last words since Terrence finished it off with a bang. Nevertheless, that's how the conversation went. Subscribe below, click on the notification bell, and to be continued on the next episode of Aki Aki TV. Peace and we are here.